Hey, what's up, what's up, what's up, my little tattletales? Y'all, so you might have heard, Nene Leaks has her house up for sale. So, who wants to take a tour? Listen, I don't got shit to do, and you're here too, so maybe this is the way you're passing your free time. Y'all ready to go see what $4 million in Hotlanta can buy you? Now, before any of y'all say, ooh, is Nene going broke? Nene's having financial issues? Nene, from what everybody understands, is in the exact same financial situation she was. She was the primary breadwinner. Greg was her manager, her husband's her support. As Greg was transitioning, nothing changed in that. So her selling the house has nothing to do with her financial position. It actually actually has more to do with the fact that Greg literally said um but as he was transitioning that he wanted her to move on as soon as possible and he honestly just wanted her to live life and be happy I gotta say something rest in peace Greg he truly had a loving giving heart you know truly 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 so let's get into this and see what four million dollars buys us y'all ready for this of course y'all are all right let's go okay so we are going to get into this first starting off with ooh, look at that interior that is look at exterior i'm sorry Ooh, this is so nice it made me lose my mind look at this exterior okay mrs leaks and you got the fountain going up. You got the pool. Look at that. You know what I will say? I like the way that it's nice and sleek and modern, but it still has that Georgia country club look, if you know what I mean. So it looks like an upscale Weston. It looks super, super big. Now, just to let you know a little bit about it, right? It is on the market for four million. Who got four million? Um, a five bedroom, seven bath property it sprawls across a staggering 97, 9,791 square feet and is nestled in the Duluth area of Gwinnett County. It's roughly 20 miles from Atlanta, which doesn't sound like a lot, but from what I hear, Atlanta traffic is vicious. But honestly, if you got money to drop on this couch, what am I saying? Everybody's phoning in from home. Or if you're like Simon Gabadia, you're playing with Hilton Honors on the phone, acting like on your Fisher Price keyboard, right? Nene and Greg, they purchased this as a shell for 2.1 million and they transformed this place into a Mediterranean palace with West Coast vibes. I knew I liked it. I love West Coast and anything that looks like it's like Mexican interior design or architecture. Don't sleep, it's super beautiful. Now it is located on a golf course in a gated community and it has a massive area around it. What's the word? Sorry, what do you call land? Massive lots that boast incredible landscaping with lush trees and lining of property. Okay, look. Look at this exterior from the front. Honey, she is living. All right, Nene. I see what's going on. That's why Nene was saying, I'm very rich, bitch. Because look at this. This looks good. Good job, good job, good job. They did a good job on the renovations. Look at that exterior. Now, here's an aerial shot of the wooded area. It lets you know. I think it's this one that has like an orange roof. Um, but look, so you're surrounded by trees, so you are esconed from your neighbors, right? Mm. Look at this interior. Mediterranean, very sleek, a little light on furniture for me, but you know what it is? I can't even blame them because I know when you stage a house, when you're selling a house, the realtor tells you, if anybody's ever sold a house, the realtor tells you to take out all the personal effects because when people walk in, you want it clutter free, you want it clean, and you kind of want it to void a personality. You want enough that you know how to put the furniture together, right? You see how the floor work, the floor plan works, but you don't want people seeing pictures of your grandmother and your kids and whatever else because sometimes it turns buyers off. So they did a good job of taking all the personal artifacts out and just letting the house be staged. Um, so, I mean, it looks really, really good. We go into staging in the kitchen, nice and clean and sweet. Quiet as this kept. This looks like somebody's house before they moved out of it. Simon Gabodia, right? But it's a really cute house. Um, ooh, look at this. So it has, this is a suite. Nini has a primary suite that has a fireplace, a freestanding bathtub, and matching vanities. Okay, so I'm gonna be honest, right? Let's go back to this kitchen because I'm into kitchens. It's a kitchen that features a 10 foot tall cabinetry, Viking appliances, marble countertops, and an oversized island. And then we go into back to the primary suite, it includes a fireplace 
freestanding tab. Mmm. And matching vanities. I like that. Now, I'm gonna be honest, I don't like this grayish glam vibe, but I know it is a glot vibe and people like it. It was super stylish, but you can tell, to be fair, Nene and Greg had this place for a while, and back then, gray was really in, but if anybody's been into any CB2 or any store, you know that gray is on its way out. So if you're still buying gray, stop it, right? And y'all, here we have the closet. Here we have the closet that dreams were built in and dreams were destroyed. This is the closet scene that, remember when uh, somebody said, I'm gonna go look in the closet, I think it was Portia, and Nene lost her damn mind, and she literally, allegedly, assaulted a cameraman and knocked out his tooth. And that's one of the reasons why Nene wasn't invited back for the next season. I don't know y'all, what do y'all think? What do y'all think? Now, listen, this closet is bigger than most bedrooms in New York, so I can see how Nene didn't want anybody bound there because unless the housekeeper's there that day, I can see me trashing this closet just even getting dressed over three days. I'm that messy person that when I pull out clothes, they just stay. There'd be clothes all over this countertop. There'd be shoes everywhere. It would be a mess. I would need the housekeeper to be there five days a week just to organize my clothes, right? But this is Nene's closet, the infamous closet. So many things happen because Nene didn't want anybody in that closet. Can you imagine how life would have been different for Nene right now if that closet had been cleaned that day? Do you imagine? If the closet had been cleaned that day, do you know how much her life would have been different? It's weird the way the little things that you don't think about really do make or break sometimes. You know, it's the little things. We then go into the powder room. They said no expense was spared in creating the homes of their dreams. Um, maybe in the kitchen, because the powder room, I'm just like, I guess, I don't know. Then they go, the basement is converted into a bar and features its very own theater. Now that's cute. That is cute to watch a movie. Sleeks, that's cute, I'll give it to you, right? And a nice renovation, right? A beautiful, beautiful, beautiful renovation. Now, listen. All right, so question for all the rich bitches. All this could be yours for four million. What y'all think? Let me know in the comments. All right, guys, bye.